So why does that gobbler stop coming in? He's come a pretty good ways. You've called him in a pretty good uh, distance and all of a sudden he just throws the brakes on and he stopped coming in. But why does that happen? Well, we're gonna answer that in this video, so you stay tuned. How many times has this happened to you? You've located a gobbler, you got him coming in, he's come a pretty good ways to you, maybe you've located him way off and he's come down one ridge, down another one, up another hill, come all the way and you think, man, he's coming hard, he's come a long ways, he's coming gobbling, this one's going to work right, this one's going to do exactly what they're supposed to do. Finally, after all these days, then he gets up there about 100 yards, 70 yards, 60 yards, whatever the case, just out of sight where you can see him, and he throws the brakes on, and he keeps gobbling. And you wonder, you're sitting there wondering, well, come on, come on, and then all of a sudden, next time you hear him, he's way around the hill. <laughs> And you're going, well, and you're sitting there going, what happened? How many times has that happened to you as a turkey hunter? Oh, man, I couldn't tell you how many times that's happened to me over the years uh, out turkey hunting. So why does that happen? Well, you know, there could be uh, probably a couple reasons, and we're going to go into the couple of reasons here in this video uh, of why that sometimes that happens. Uh, one, and I think this is uh, probably goes overlooked a lot more uh, than it should, is when you're dealing with a gobbler that just throws the brakes on, he, he's come a long way and then all of a sudden he just, slam, he just slams uh, himself just right there in the area and he keeps gobbling and he just keeps, but he's not coming in them last few yards. I think many, many times that is a prime example of a subordinate gobbler that's younger, maybe a two-year-old, maybe a three-year-old that's just got whooped all over the place previously, maybe a day, two, three days before by a bigger gobbler, and he just quits coming in. And it's not the fact that he doesn't want to come in, it's the fact that he's not allowed to come in and he's afraid to come in. But he's still gonna stay there and gobble and gobble and gobble, even though he's come a good ways off. But the closer he gets to that hen, which is you, the closer he gets to that sound, the more nervous he becomes. But he keeps gobbling. He keeps, you know, he keeps answering you. And in and in your mind, you're sitting there going, man, he's coming in. I know he's come a long way. He's, he's a red. But then next time you hear him, he's way around the hill and he keeps gobbling. It's a prime example of a subordinate gobbler that just has an issue of coming all the way in because he's afraid uh, of what might be up there that might kick his tail. So when that happens, and when you run into that scenario, don't give up, because that turkey's still pretty simple to kill if you can get on the right ground. So what you do is, if, he, if you hear him and he's way around the hill, just let him walk off, just let him go, don't say anything else to him, get up, and then try to make a move. Now when I say make a move, don't run to the turkey, don't go in the direction of the turkey. But if you kind of know the lay of the land, you kind of know how turkeys are going anyway, and you kind of know uh, you know, kind of what what they've been doing historically. This is a prime time to try to get up, move around on the back side of a hill, or go uh, all the way around if you have to. Just make sure you do it. And give yourself enough room to where the turkey can't see you, and try to get all the way in front of this turkey, or go on behind it. Go where that turkey is on. Uh, go on the other side of that turkey. You know, like if he's here in this holler, I go all the way up like this, cross the holler up uh, above him, go all the way on this side and get on that side of him, switch calls. Don't use the same call, use another call and get aggressive with him. And if he starts gobbling many times, he'll come right back to where he just came from or he'll go right to that new hen that he hears in front of him and he'll come right in your lap and kill him. I have done that so many times on subordinate turkeys and kill them because I got up and moved either in front of them or I moved on the other side of them and called them back to the direction that they came from because once they hear that hen back there where they just came from they'll run right back they know it's safe they know they didn't see any danger coming that way and they'll go right back many times and uh, to, the, to that new hen just make sure you use a different sound call you know 
and many times he thinks that's a, a different hen and he'll run right into you and you can kill him. I've done that so many times and that's just one scenario of why some gobblers quit coming in. Number two, and this is, <laughs> how many times has this happened? He's coming in, he's hot, he's, he, he's, he's coming, <laughs> and nothing's gonna stop him unless it's one thing. Another hen intercepts him because there's other turkeys out there. Right? There's other turkeys out there in the woods outside of that gobbler. A hen comes right between you and, and, and him. He sees her and goes right with her. Now, many times, not all the time, but many times these turkeys will actually go quiet and won't say anything or they may gobble one or two other times and they're way off and they went already. Most of the time, I'm going to say that's a gobbler has got with a hen, that, that hen's been coming and she's got between you and her, or you, you and him, and she's took him off because once he sees the real thing, he thinks, well, you know, why should I go up here to that hen when, when I don't see her and I got the real thing here and he goes with her. So when a hen intercepts you, that can be a death nail in many times of that hunt unless you don't give up and you you can either do, try to do two things one and we've talked about it over the years on different videos and you can go back and watch but we talk about calling to the hens if he gets with a hen now many times you don't know he's with a hen because she ain't said nothing you don't hear her, you know but if, if you hear another hen down there calking around call to her start calling to her you know, my, my New York hunt last year, that's exactly what happened. This turkey was by himself, he was on the roost, he was gobbling, man, he was he was just all ready and fired up, and all of a sudden I got to work at him, and he was answering me, and he started coming in, and all of a sudden, over here on the other side of the hill, bam, 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 I heard this hit, and he went right to her, and she intercepted that gobbler. Well, the moment that happened, I stopped calling to him. I just, I forgot about him. Now I'm hen hunting. Now we're not going to shoot the hen, but I'm hen hunting. I'm going to call to her. I'm going to try to mock her. I'm going to try to call over her. I'm going to get her ticked off at me so she'll come in and, and, and try, you know, and try to display her dominance. But when she comes into me, what's she going to do? She's going to bring the gobbler with her because he's already with her. And that's exactly what happened. So right in the middle of that hunt, I had to switch tactics and I was calling to him. It was, it was working. He was coming in all of a sudden he slammed the brakes on because he got intercepted with this hen over here. So many times this is exactly why that gobblers quit coming in even though you've called them a long ways off. But you, but when they get with the hen, switch tactics, call to the hen, call to her. And once you start getting her fired up, then many times she'll come right on in and drag him uh, with, you know, with her and then you, you're able to kill him. All right. Now, what if that don't work? What if he, she don't pay no attention? Because you you gonna find turkeys sometimes. The hens don't pay no attention to you. And they're just gonna take him off. Well, don't give up. <laughs> don't give up because you can still kill this turkey. Again, you got to know the terrain. You got to know which directions the turkeys are going. If you know the property and historically how they're moving. If you know where they're headed to, maybe it's open open field. Maybe it's a food plot. Maybe it's a, a gas line. Maybe it's just a, a place where they go in the day anyway. Don't sit there and go, well, she, the hen drug the gobbler off. I'm just, you know, get up, use the terrain, get in front of them, and get where they're going to be anyway. The worst thing you can do is just give up mentally. The worst thing you can do is believe a bunch of myths and lies that other turkey hunters have told you and just sit there and give up. Get up and do something. Will it work? Maybe. Maybe not. I don't know, but you're not going to know. Get up and be aggressive. Don't just sit there in your same old blind with your same old decoys and your same old turkey hunting skills. Don't sit there and do the same thing you've been doing and expecting different results. Get up and move. Get up and do something. So this is why a lot of times turkeys will quit coming in even though they're hot and they're wanting to you know they're responding and they're coming in but all of a sudden they just slam the brakes on and don't don't come any further you got to get up and be aggressive you've got to change your tactics you got to get up and try something different if you're going to be successful on a gobbler when he quits coming in slams the brakes on but you can do it I promise you you can be successful doing it if you'll just be aggressive more than you all than you have been or already are an aggressive top turkey hunter will kill a lot more turkeys than just the same old top of turkey hunter that sits there and never does anything both of them will kill turkeys but when you're aggressive and you get up and you try something different you're going to pack a lot more gobblers out i promise you so remember when they quit coming in don't give up get up and move on move on them 
and change your tactic a little bit and you will be more successful. I promise you. Thank you for viewing this video and make sure to take time to hit that subscribe button and hit that bell notification so you'll be notified when Dell Outdoors uploads their videos every single week. We'll be bringing you educational videos like this one and also when turkey season gets here we'll be bringing you turkey hunts so you don't want to miss any of it. Also check out all of our great sponsors that helps us in the links below. Check out Tidewee.com where you can get a lot of great products over there. Just use that promo code Dale where you can get even a better percentage of off through the promo code check out Stoger shotguns check out spring fever custom calls where you can get my signature line of matt dale old sly series of turkey calls you don't want to miss out on any of it and check out Kona scopes and all the other great uh, sponsors we have in the links below we really appreciate you watching this video until the next and you be safe out there and get that big old gobbler this coming spring